Hello, and welcome to your 82nd SQL Server tutorial. My name is Johnny DeLuca, and I want to talk to you about checking index usage. I'm going to show you how to view index usage. So while indexes can improve database performance, in some cases they can have an adverse effect. Additionally, they require administration and consume disk space resources. Ideally, indexes provide a significant benefit to read operations on a table in exchange for a small overhead cost to insert, update, and delete operations. This is why having too many non-clustered indexes can be problematic. Assuring that indexes are actually used is important. You want to make sure that write operation performance is not suffering for improved read performance. For this reason, SQL Server includes a DMO, and that's uh, sys.dm underscore db underscore index underscore usage underscore stats. And that can assist in identifying indexes that are not being used. By using this DMO, you can effectively decide whether an index is needed in your database. Once you have determined an index is not needed, you should initially disable it instead of dropping it. By not removing the index, you maintain the structure of the index. So if you later determine that the index is needed, you can simply enable the index instead of having to recreate it. Using the index usage DMO too soon after a server restart could result in valuable indexes being dropped. Perhaps indexes that are used, say, in a month in business cycle or reporting or something of that nature. Uh, something to take note of, the information contained within DMOs is cleared when an instance of SQL Server is restarted. Therefore, before using this information to make any decisions, you're going to want to ensure that SQL Server has been running for a substantial amount of time. This time should span a period that is inclusive of a workload that encompasses pretty much every scenario that may be presented to your database. So, with that said, I just started this instance up, but I'm just presenting a tutorial so it doesn't really matter. Um, let's go ahead and I'm going to show you how to do this in Management Studio. I already have the scripts up that I need, so we're going to uh, open Management Studio and then connect to a server and then open a new query window, window and I want you to first type in the code that you see in this window right here and then go ahead and execute okay there we go alright now this query here includes only an abbreviated list of columns from the DMO the last three columns return information that is a good starting point to determine index usage. All three show how many times the index was used by a query, varying only by the type of usage. Each time a query performs a seek, a scan, or a lookup of an index, as you can see here, seeks, scan, lookups, etc. So each time it performs a seek, scan, or lookup of an index, the value in the corresponding column is incremented. Okay, so the re results of the query will vary depending on when your instance of SQL Server was last restarted. And as I said, I just restarted this thing uh, before I started recording this. So an index will not appear in this DMO if it has never been read from or has not been updated since the last server reboot. So, um... And that's going to be, I think, probably the case here because I just rebooted. <laughs> so, but anyways, I'm, you're still getting an idea of how to do this. But to ensure that some data is returned, I have another little script right here that I've prepared. And we're going to go ahead and type that in and then go ahead and execute that. All right. Okay, good to go. Now, what we want to do is go back over to this query, and we're going to execute it again. Take a note, just, you know, kind of look at the info here. All right. Let's execute this. Ah, we see user scan went up from 14 to 15 there. All right. So now you're getting an idea 
uh, the purpose of how to view index usage and what happens and whatnot. Okay. Now, you know, we could just keep going back and forth. I can go back over here, re-execute, all right, go back over here, execute, yeah, and it went back up to 16. Okay, so this just, you know, shows you uh, it's a handy little tool for viewing uh, index usage. So go ahead and save this script here, and you can modify it to use a different database and whatnot. So... I want to thank you for watching this tutorial and be sure to check back for my next tutorial um, where I will be covering uh, creating and updating database statistics, how to view database statistics options using SQL Server Management Studio. Thanks for stopping by.